for the technique of how to take the pap smear and then how to take like a patch biopsy and then a high vagina swab as well so this is a mannequin but before you if you are going to take the, the pap smear from the patient you must make sure you have to explain to the patient the benefit of the pap smear uh, indication and then a uh, uh, complication which is very minimal I uh, have to get the father consent and uh, the room has to be private room uh, there must be a chaperone even though you are a girl a patient is a girl you must have a chaperone female uh, doctor is taking the pasmia from female definitely you need the chaperone chaperone must be a girl and uh, the lighting has to be the good if there is if you need it you can get another uh, lamp uh, which is a standing one so that you can see inside the cervix the patient if she wants to pass urine before she comes for the procedure is the best she has to rely on and this is the outpatient procedure so in a clinic outpatient clinic you can explain that she has to be lined up on the bed so dorsal position or the doctor this is a dorsal this is a mannequin but it's a dorsal position so when the patient her dog is on the on the bed the two thighs are uh, updated and then uh, the foot will be here on the table but if you're doing a little to me then same thing you have to put the patient on the on the line on the back but the thigh is updated and it will be on the stirrup then you have to tie it then she will be in the little position after already then you can uh, exposure the patient uh, lower abdomen has to be exposed the other part you can cover it with the uh, linen and then the upper perineum and the thigh then the upper mid thigh has to be exposed Okay, this one is a uh, the small small uh, mannequin for the survey. This is a um, normal cervix. If you see it, there will be the opening slit, and this is a normal no growth on there. So when you see the survey, you must make sure the cervix must be there like that. Either it can be pink color or it can be a little bit raw or uh, red color can be, but there must be no growth. Okay, so now we first after you everything ready, you must get there. Uh, this one uh, speculum, the correct speculum, correct size. This is the Gaspo's uh, viva subcutaneous vagina speculum. So you have to make sure that the instrument is well functioning before you put it into the patient's uh, vagina. It has to be the warm, not like very cold uh, instrument, and it has to be um, lubricated with the uh, warm normal supply. Okay, and then after that, if you're after already, and you have to make sure all the instruments also is nearby. This one is for the conventional uh, A-spatula, the one we use it like the old time. But if you use this one, you need this glass light. This glass light, you have to break down the patient's particular here. Then this one is for the, to uh, smear the, uh, the cervical smear. Then if, you are, if you're going to use a thin bread, which is a, the new technique is you need this a cervical brush and a cervical a brush and a broom and this one is a thin prep the bottle there is a alcohol based medium we call it liquid based cytology and then this one is a the splash holding for sap this one is in case if you are having a bleeding a slight bleeding that you can use a course and you can roll it here and then you can put it on there put the pressure on the bleeding side normally pap smear we don't need it and this one is for the cervical bench for uh, biopsy for sap this one also if the cervix is when you put the speculum the cervix is tend to be like there is a growth which i'm like that is if like that uh the growth there then you can do the biopsy on that area okay but the procedure is almost the same the only thing different is that you have to get the biopsy from that growth so this one is a normal growth. So fine, first we have to put the spatula. So spatula, you have to, either there are two ways you can put it in. Either you can go inside, then turn the uh, side way, and turn inside, and open the spatula, and then you see the, visualize the cervix. There is a one way. Another one more is you can use straight away, uh, in a straight line, and then you put it inside, op open it, and then you see the sub visualize the survey, then you tighten the screw so that you don't need to hold the speculum. It will be there. And then, first, I will show with the uh, 
uh, the normal conventional one with the a spatula the mesh there this one is for the uh, the inside you have to touch this area to the cervix the moment you touch inside you have to turn 360 degree and then you get there all the some uh, some smear on your spatula then you have to put it on a glass like one time only okay after that you put this one in there so in a way you have to put it in an alcohol based medium that the container then you have to put it inside then you have to send it for the histopathological examination to the lab so the re the, re the way we do it supposing this is a survey so you have to make sure you turn inside and then you have to turn 360 degree and then you get all the smear so it will be getting the cells from endocervix and side endocervix then you put it there okay fine after that it's supposing like if you are taking for the thin prep method the procedure is the same but you have to make sure this area is for going to touch on the touch on the patient uh, at cervix and then you have to turn 360 degree okay and then there will be the slit so you can break it off inside there the container for the ecto cervix then, then you can use it for the inside this is a bit smaller one for the brush then you straight, you can put inside the cervix at endo cervix then you turn it 360 degree same thing you put the slit open the break the slit and you put it inside the thin bread then after that if you are finished you had to put the, close it and then you had to straight down the patient's particular and then you had to send it for the pathological examination okay one more is if if we are going to uh, the take the cervical patch biopsy if the vital patch biopsy, the exam, the service will be like that. It's not like the normal service. There will be the growth or there will be the asa. The area will be raw and very red. If you touch it, there will be the bleeding. Okay. So supposing this one is inside, then you will see that when you open the speculum, then what you can do is you have to put there. This is the cervical patch biopsy for that you have to aim. Where are you going to aim? Supposing this one is here, this growth is at the two o'clock position. So to group position, you have to describe how the growth is in the patient's documentation. Then you have to put the, the grabs on the growth area. After that, you take it out, supposing this way. If you are taking inside, you have to grab it, take it out, and then put it into the alcohol-based medium. Then, same thing, you have to put the patient's documentation, which is the patient's particular name, age, and hospital registration number and her complaint just minimize the one then together with the patient documentation then you have to send it for the lab okay but this one cervical patch biopsy the problem is because of the raw area and the growth you may be having the bleeding so smear you may not have the bleeding really you have the bleeding so if there is a bleeding you have to use a cotton uh, the, the gauze and then you have to press it on that area to press get the pressure so that the bleeding will be reduced okay then after you finish you have to remove the specula so when you remove the specula you can visualize the lateral furnace the mean the lateral surfaces anti posterior surfaces posterior uh, vagina wall and lateral vagina wall you can see whether it's normal or not so make sure the plate is closed before you take remove the plate uh, the specular from the patient's perineum and then you can see there any with any bleeding or any suggest there okay and then after all finish you have to explain to the patient the finding of what you found in a procedure and make reassurance given and after the patient can be